Hey everyone, episode number three with one of my students. Let's welcome Jerry to the show. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing very good. It's uh, almost afternoon where I am, but uh, morning where you are. So yeah. I'm, I'm doing well. There you go. Well, hey, I uh, your wife reached out to me, I believe, and indicated that she was going to get you the course for Christmas. Uh, that's she pretty did. cool. That that was that was. She asked me. You know, we we don't buy each other a lot of things, but we always buy something. You know, yeah. for Christmas, we always know what we're getting each other for <laughs> Christmas because we don't. That's safe. You know, we don't. <laughs> we don't. We don't surprise each other with stuff like that because yeah. it's you know it, it's it's what do you want? What do you want? Yeah. And you know, it's something that we probably wouldn't have bought. Yeah. Or you know, would have bought, but maybe not right at the moment. So sure. Well, that's um, cool. So you get the you get yeah, the Christmas so present, the how to get started one rental at a time. Um, I, I, I guess a so you've been probably been following me on YouTube, I'm guessing, or read the book or something. How how did the journey um, start? Yeah, so um, the journey started following you on on YouTube. So okay. I follow a lot of the wholesaling um, YouTube. So yeah. like Pace Morby, yeah. Brent Daniels, TTP. Yeah. Um, I was at the, at the time when I really got into it, um, I was working for an investor in California mm -hmm. and, um, I was working for actually at the time I was working for three or four of them. Okay. And I kept hearing about this one guy. Oh, so-and-so is the bomb. I mean, like you have to, if you, if you get to know anybody, you have to get to know him. Well, the contractor, good good friend of mine, Mike was working one day and he says, uh, so-and-so called me up and wants me to go look at his house. And I'm like, no way, really? And he's like, yeah, I'm going to look at a house. I'm like, oh man, uh, let me go with you. And he's like, all right, come on, let's go. So we go over to meet him and, and, uh, start talking to him. And the guy just turns out to be the most down to earth, you know, cool guy. And he's all about, you know, he's been doing it since 2002, I think. Yeah. And he's all about just, you know, building up your portfolio. Yep. And so he really started out. Um, he started out as a kind of like you, a high, a high income earner. And he yep. started buying rentals because he needed a way to, to stop paying so much in taxes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he started, he started buying it, but, you know, got to know him and then started hearing about wholesaling. So went down that rabbit hole and, you know, but you really learn a lot in, mm -hmm in doing that, you learn, you know, where, where that buy is from a direct to seller point of view, mm -hmm. you know, what it's worth to somebody else. You can make that spread, then make the spread, take the cash and walk away. Yep. Um, because if you can't afford to do the rehab, to take it down and do the rehab yourself, then it's a great way to still profit. Yeah. Right? Might so, as well make it, might as well make something off the lead. Yep. Totally makes yeah, sense. Yeah. So he, he was of the opinion, I don't care what the wholesaler makes, you know, I don't, I don't care how much he makes. If the numbers work for me, yeah, I will buy wholesale deals all day, all week long. Totally and agree. so, um, so, you know, just really got to know him and, and he, he was very generous with his time. Let me pick his brain several times. And, nice. and, uh, so got to do some fun projects with him too. So, cool. um, okay. So that was kind of the precursor of it, but I knew that I, I needed something a little bit deeper mm -hmm. from the buy and hold aspect of it. Right. And that's where I found you just on, on YouTube, watched it one day and then started following your, um, your morning financial yeah, daily, stuff. Yeah, daily financial news, yep. Daily financial news. We want to make sure and get that, that, <laughs> uh, that plug. <laughs> that plug, right. <laughs> Um, so subscribe to that and, cool. and watch it, watch it every day. Wow. Um, live when I can, and if something's going on, I can't, then I always, you know, pick it up, pick it up later in the day. But that's awesome. Um, also, you know, many of the experts that you have, um, really enjoy listening to, uh, to those and just your channel in general, because you have so many different experts in a lot of different. Yeah you know, aspects. The only one that I, that I don't think you have is somebody that's actually like a full on rehabber that yeah. is involved in doing, you're right, doing the rehab and, and doing all of that. But other than that, I mean, from financing to multifamily to yeah. buy and hold to, you know, going from one rental at a time to 180 doors to yeah. even syndicates and everything, you know, you just have a, a wide variety of people that you 
interact with. And I just really enjoy that. Oh, I appreciate that. It's fun. And, and I don't know if it comes across, but I have fun every day. I, I do. I, I, I was sad to see a few days back, um, you know, you, you didn't have fun one day. Yeah. Like, I had that, one day where it was rough, but I got over yeah, it. Yeah. From, from someone who's a fan of, of your content, that really made me sad and think, oh my gosh. And then you said, and if I'm not going to have fun, I'm just not going to do it. I'll close it up and go away. Yeah, I'm like, go no, away. <laughs> no, no, no. What am I going to do every day at yeah, 10.30 no. a.m.? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I do this because I have fun. And, and uh, I, I've been doing it for two and a half years every day. And, and I have fun every day, except that one. And, you know, I've already flushed it. I won't think about it anymore. Uh, just, just stay oh, positive. Yeah. There in your you previous career, I'm sure in a two and a half year to year period of time, there were a lot more than just one day. Is that you oh, no, I fun. would have horrible weeks in my old career and nothing. Yeah. To, yeah anyways. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, this is a lot of fun helping people. So, okay. So you got the course. I'm really interested because you had experience uh, in real estate, which is awesome. I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what did you yeah. think? You dove into the course one rental at a time. The first thing I love about my course, unlike others, is it smacks you in the face. Step one. Right. It, it does. It does. It says, okay, here's what you're going to do. <laughs> and you're going to find, you're going to find, you know, your area, what's your market. Yep. And what I thought was my market, I really, I changed my market. So I there thought that because okay. Lynchburg, Lynchburg is much bigger than Madison Heights. So Madison Heights is 12,000 people. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's, it's pretty small, but it's on the outskirts of Lynchburg, which is a lot more, um, Liberty University is in Lynchburg. Mm -hmm. There's some nuclear companies. So when you say outskirts, here. just so I understand, is that like a 20 minute drive, 40 minute drive? Uh, outskirts? Liter literally, you drive across the James River Bridge oh, so, and you okay. go from Lynchburg to Madison Heights. Got so it. it's, so it's close. It's minutes. next door. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Not even 10 minutes, one minute. Oh, there you go. Okay. All so, right. so it's, yeah, it's very close. Um, All right. So I decided, you know, let me take a look at at Madison Heights, since the, the houses that I have um, are here, it would enable me to be able to kind of get a, an idea of my backyard, so to speak. There you go. All and right, so I sense. started to break down, take a look at it. Um, you know, what um, you said 20 to 40 houses. Mm -hmm. And depending on the on the um, on the filters that I put in, I went from 50 down if i added the next filter it dropped me down way down okay. and so i left the filter at 50 sure and it's two or more bedrooms with one or more bath because there's a lot of two ones here and there's sure. a lot of three ones here and um the newer houses or ones that have been remodeled are mm -hmm. now you yeah, know that three extra twos. Bath. yeah yeah almost okay. no two twos which in california wasn't uncommon at all for a yeah. two two yeah Okay. All um, right. So you, so 50 makes sense again. That's awesome. So, um, you start looking every day, right? As the course indicates. Start looking. I don't, I don't look every day, but I look multiple times a week. Okay. Because when I looked every day, nothing changed. Ah. But when I look two or three times a week, Oh, there's a new one. Okay. Boom. Right. And not having been in an industry that was computer savvy. So I was in, I was in retail for 30 years, okay. uh, manage, manage the store for 22 of my 30 year career. And, and um, you know, the, the reports and everything that we did were um, put together by our regional office. Sure. So understood Excel and stuff like that. I am not a tech savvy Got it. person. So I actually had to Google, <laughs> you know, how do you, how do you insert a line? So I need to put this line between nine and 10 because I need it to be there. How do I do that? Fair enough. So, you know, I have had to go out and learn some other things to do that. Get a little but, uncomfortable. Um, That's okay. <laughs> yeah, yo, absolutely. Yeah, it, it was. And and uh, so, you know, learned how to do the little things and whenever I need something, I'll just YouTube it. There you Found go. that YouTube, YouTube is very uh, tech savvy and, and yeah. there's a lot of videos out there to learn that type of thing. So cool. I did that. So started, started learning, you know, the market for what my target market is. So yeah. now my target market is not only rentals, but my target market is also flips. Sure. And my target market is also wholesale. Yeah. And so, that's, I'm glad you brought that up. That's something I haven't done a very good job of marketing. This whole learn your market, do the work thing is about finding value. 
right? It, it helps if you're a flipper, it helps if you're a wholesaler, right? You need to understand what the value of that asset is and what, you know, what, what's the return going to be. So I'm glad you're using it for that because it's, it's all the same stuff. And it was super beneficial for me as a, as a flipper too, because now I can see, you know, a house, a three, two at this, in this condition at the same price that a three, two is fully remodeled. That three, that three, two in the original condition has been on the market for four or five months. Yeah. As where the three, two that's fully rehabbed was on the market four days before it went under contract and yeah. went pending. Yeah. And the other thing that you're going to have at your disposal is, you know, you're going to be able to do the math on, Hey, what happens if I buy a two, one, we add a master suite, making it a three, two, right? Those are things that because you're a flipper and because you're learning your market, you're going to have at your disposal. Um, yeah. That's pretty and there's powerful. A, there's another, <laughs> another good thing is a lot of the basements here mm -hmm. are being used as storage, Ah, but a lot of them have plumbing and there's enough electrical that you can do a full conversion on a basement, add, add a bathroom, yeah. add two bedrooms, create a little kitchenette into it, and it will rent as a two one. Wow. And your cash on cash return on something like that is probably going to be, I don't know. So let's say it rents for 600 a month for mm -hmm. the two one in a basement. Yeah. And I spend 30 grand doing the remodel. Oh, well, that's 12, 18% somewhere in there. Just that's good. Yeah. So, you know, you take that cash. So let's say I, I make the cash in another thing. I put that cash into the one or one of the rentals, Yeah. convert it. And four years later, I've got all that cash back and I go do it again. Yeah. So is that, I, I'm, this is a lot of fun for me. So again, you can, you could kind of do the old strategy of flip two, keep one, right? Um, my, my plan is flip three, keep one. Okay. Well, there you go. Same close. Uh, and, and depending, and it really depends on the profit margin. Of course. Of it. Um, yeah. and, and what the cost of money is. So like sure. every place there's, there's uh, hard money out here. So, mm -hmm. um, that's something that I'm finding that you need to, you know, you need to build the reputation. Yeah, absolutely. For that. That's so, awesome. And then the ones you keep, you're going to do the, I'll call it house hack for lack of a better term, but basically you're going to turn a two or a three bedroom storage basement into a, you're going to rent the top and you're going to rent the bottom, I guess is what I'll say. In, in the ones that I can. Yeah. yeah that makes the total ones that I sense. Can, I will. Because yeah, the value of yeah. that basement is worth so much. So you might be able to get, let's say you include the basement in the upstairs, you yeah. might get 850 or nine for it. Uh, but if you exclude the basement and say, Hey, I'm only renting you the upstairs. There's a tenant downstairs. You might only get 750 for that house, Yeah, but you can get 550, 600 for the basement. Well, that, that is awesome. But again, what I love about this option is you, again, this is the whole buy it cheap and, and, you know, buy the foot, buy the foot, sell the inch. You buy it with a basement, which has zero or marginal value, right? Yes. Because it's storage. And then right. bingo, bango, 90 days later, it's a two bedroom, one bath kitchenette rental. I mean, that's genius. Yeah. That's sexy. Okay. I like that. Everybody else who has basements in your area, go do the work. Seriously. If you're in a market with basements, I want my students to go look for two bedroom, one bath houses, or even three bedroom, one bath houses with basements that are storage. Go do the math on what it would take to convert that storage into, you know, a two bedroom, one bath, or even a one bedroom, one bath rental unit. We got to do that math. That's pretty sexy. Yeah. It's kind of the, it's kind of the ADU. Yeah, exactly. Thing of California. It's the, yeah. so, you know, do you have to have a separate egg entrance? They all have separate entrances. Oh my gosh. How Already. Awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> some of them, most of them have stairs going to the basement. Sure. Of course. But, but when you, but when you purchase it, you just plan on, on closing that stairway up. Exactly. So you, wow. so you basically put a solid door, put a deadbolt on it. It's not accessible at the bottom of the stairs. You do the same, you frame it in, you drywall it in, yep. you put secure doors on each side and it becomes an Sorry. access later down the road. If you decide to, Hey, I'm going to rent, I've got a tenant that wants to rent the whole thing yeah. and they're willing to pay me what it makes it worth. Then you just unlock the doors and, and allow them to do what they want to do. That's awesome.
I'm going to take, I'm going to talk about that. That's a great, I like that strategy. All right. So what other stuff have you learned from the course? I'm just, so other people might be interested in taking it. Um, in, in my course, I found it's kind of hard to find, um, true rents ah, okay. in it because there's not a lot of rent listed on. So I'm doing Zillow and I'm doing Redfin. Mm -hmm. Um, and if I need, if I need direct access to the MLS, I can't get it, but, um, I have a friend that's a realtor here mm -hmm. and he will get me that information. That's cool. But okay. there's not a lot of houses for rent around here. Now, is that because they're fully like, they just don't come up or, I mean, is there a property manager around that you could call and just ask or. There, yeah, there is. And I, and I can, um, yeah. but a lot of, uh, rent um owner renters they just post a sign in the front yard yeah Ma yeah again you said twelve thousand people in the area that makes sense yeah 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 okay all right so so rents are um, difficult to only, get that get that makes sense yeah the 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 only rentals that are actually listed in in my market um in my zip code are small apartments one 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 apartments or two one apartments okay and so um, I'm looking at it thinking that a house, a two one house is worth $200 a month more than a two one apartment. Yeah. I mean, yeah, in my market for and, sure. And I, may, and I may be on the low end on that. Yeah, I think you're on the low end. Because the other thing so, that you add into that is uh, parking, right? Is, is it carport, garage, street? Usually, usually apartments are street. Houses may have a carport or something. Um, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yep. So, um, that, but just the amount of information and then also some of the notes that I made, um, uh, just going through the homework that you had us do the other day yeah. um, that I sent you the spreadsheet on. That was fantastic. Actually, I have a request. Sure. I want you to create a homework assignment a week. Ah, okay. I can do yeah. You know, do something and, and maybe the next one that you do is this, this hold ADU or convert a, convert, uh, yeah. The basement to a, to a living, do the math on that. You know, how much cash are you going to have to have out? Um, now, uh, you know, make sure that your particular city and or County allows multiple residences yeah. in, in your buildings, you know, i.e. I'm not a professional. Don't take me. Um, yeah. So take me serious. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is, this is only my opinion, but yeah. um, you know, I really like doing that. Cool. Um, and again, if you don't know folks, I did a homework assignment for my students actually on YouTube. What happens if interest rate goes up a point? What happens if price goes up 10%, I think. And what happens if rent goes up a hundred bucks just to see how it all impacts yield. And then take all three of those. Correct and do it together. So um, interest up a point, purchase price up 10%, Yeah. but rent up a hundred bucks. Yeah, it's all interesting so how it ties was, together. Yep. That, that rent up a hundred bucks in my market made a huge difference. <laughs> I bet. Took, took a 13 to a 17. There you go. So that yeah. was, uh, that was, that was, that was eye-opening right eye -opening. there. So I actually awesome. did two of them on two different price points. I will look that up. And uh, and and uh, was interested in seeing that. So very cool. All right. Any other feedback or um, thoughts for people that are thinking about taking the course? Uh, it, at the two hundred dollars, it's worth every penny. My wife asked me yesterday because uh, we so living in the basement um, with no walls. Uh -huh. Um, we kind of get closed in a little bit. So we, we take off and go to Airbnbs for the weekend and stuff like that. So we're nice. actually up in the mountains right now. Uh, that was a whole nother story. Came up Friday afternoon after a snowstorm went through, couldn't get up the hill to the, to the cabin that we were staying in, had to park the car at the bottom and walk oh. up in six, six inches of snow. Oh no. Dragging the suitcase, <laughs> go back down, drag up the cooler to get our our stuff into the fridge. Oh, so that's funny. Um, but you know, we were, we were here and I'd, I'd spent some time doing some of that homework and, and watching some more. And she's like, so how do you like it? And I'm like, it honestly, just if I had only gotten the bit of do the work, 
Yeah. So here, do the work here. We're going to teach you how to do the work. We're going to teach you what you're going to learn and go do the work. That would have been worth the 200 bucks. Nice. Everything else in the course is a bonus. And um, the reason I had my wife get it for me for Christmas, because you've been taunting the, hey, price might go up yeah. after I do the private money deal. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I want the private money. I want the private money portion of it. Cool. Um, and I don't want to spend any money, mo- any money <laughs> for it because I'm cheap. So let's just buy it for the 199 now. And nice. And he's 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 promised that we'll get that. So oh, you're gonna, gonna get it. You yep. Your, you're gonna. I'm gonna, get it. I'm gonna hold you to it. Of course. And, um, you know, I just think you being the you know, I read the book Go Giver some years back, and I just really enjoy reading, and I listen to a lot of audio books and stuff like that, and. Uh, you know, you're a go giver and yeah. I appreciate you for that. And, and I truly believe that I would be willing to bet that the private money course portion of the course that you're going to do won't yeah. be the last edition. I, I imagine you're probably going to, yeah. you know, two, three years down the road, you're going to, Oh, you know what? I'm going to go down this rabbit hole. I'm going to put together an addition to the course and do it yeah. just because that's, that's who you are. Absolutely. And you love to give back. I so. love to give back. And yeah, we're, we're, I'm getting, I'm getting other experts. Uh, Jason Pritchard's adding it. April Crosley, who's out here on YouTube is going to do something. Uh, we're, I'm waiting to collect all that stuff. April, unfortunately lost her, her, her grandmother recently. So we're, it's a little pause on that, but yeah, it's, it's coming. Yeah. So excited, excited about that, but awesome. still, you know, still doing the work and, awesome. it's, you know, it, the first day took me five plus hours. Wow. To, to go through, take the market, take yeah. all of those off of, off of uh, realtor.com. Of course. Yep. You know, take, take the spreadsheet that you had done. And, you know, as I was entering stuff in, you know, this isn't an A, but it's not a, it's not a B. So I'm going to call this a B plus and yep. then taking another part of my spreadsheet and going, okay, well, I want to add a comment for this, or I want to add yep. a comment for that. You made it or, yours. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, the advantage of, of doing the construction and doing the rehab end of it is I can look at a house and go, you know, we're, we're at two grand here. Tell Jimbo yeah. hi for me. I will. I was just looking, he's starting to stir. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, oh, that's, you know, two grand make ready. Oh, that's seven. Oh, that's 15. That's a full gut. That's, yeah. And then, and then I just go to the square footage model, that's of it, awesome. you know, you know, f- basically 45 to $50 a square foot yeah. is a full gut, full yeah. remodel and kitchen, new cabinets. And, you know, out here, California, if you didn't put granite or quartz or something in a, in a rental. So I was in Riverside, California, yep. Inland Empire. Yep. If you didn't put that into a flip, forget it. It's going to sit. It wouldn't sell. It's going to sit. And, um, and uh, out here, linoleum countertops, <laughs> you know, just different. Just, and I'm just looking <laughs> at it. I'm like, wow, you know, really? <laughs> my funny. wife's in the background going that's because we're rednecks <laughs> i didn't say that <laughs> uh, um but uh but you know it's 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 uh it's really interesting that's cool and then the last um, thing to, to t- talk about is uh you also get added to the private facebook group has that been interesting the community that that is i mean you can post a question and i really enjoy it because i see questions posted by others and mm-hmm. go i i can Maybe not help. be the answer. Yeah. I can help. Yeah. It may not be the right answer, but at least it's a different point of view. Yeah, it's fun. And it's something that, you know, that maybe I've experienced or maybe I just have an opinion on. And yeah. it may be my opinion. You can take it or leave it. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, I, the, I really the, hope the, that stays the positive. I, I, I continually hope that that group stays my positive kind of character, go giver attitude. I, I work hard to do I, that. I think as the administrator that you can, that you can guide that yeah. for it. I think you can control it quite honestly, because if you get somebody that, you know, is, is. I'll just kick them out. <laughs> just, just be, just be nice. Yeah. I mean, just be, be nice. a nice human being. That's all you, that's all you need to do. That's you all know? I want. That's all I want. Yeah. 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 And, and if not, then maybe you have a, a messenger conversation with them or, and, and if they continue to do it, say, Hey, sorry, here's your 200 bucks back. I'm yeah, refunding exactly. your cost of your course and I'm kicking you off the group there you uh, go. because this is, 
yeah. this is not a this is not acceptable to me. I, that's that. Well, yeah, that is, that is exactly going to happen. If anybody is ever turning off the light or happiness, I'll just give you the two hundred dollars back and just call it a day. It's it's just not worth. Yeah, it. Yeah, so. I just that's that's another one of the things that I love about your content and your channels and and the Facebook group is that it's it's positivity. You know, I I posted the first deal that I got. I posted some pictures and it was just all congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, good for you and and all of that. And it was just. You know, it was just, it was cool to, uh, it makes me smile every cool day. I, I go in about once a day just cause I got other stuff going on, but yeah, it makes me smile every day. I, I, I go in there. So it's fun. Yeah. Um, there was one question that I had for you here. Okay. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Sure. I made some notes. Um, so a question for you that I had. Um, yep. So two things real quick, if you don't mind. Of um, course. One, if you get unexpected repairs, so a large capex expenditure, yep, two two years into a into a deal, how do you how do you calculate the yield on that, or do you just go it's capex, it's not part of yield, it's just part of expenses and and move on? It, the latter, yeah. If it, it okay, if it's something, so there, just to be very clear, right? If I planned it during purchase, but it was delayed for some reason, it's included. If I do a make ready, for example, I do a make ready and I didn't replace the water heater, just as an example. Right. And then three years from now, it, it pops and I have a $2,000 cost because I got to remove it. There's water damage, all of that. I already own the building. The, the yield decision is off the table. It's just part of okay. CapEx. It's just part of CapEx. Okay. Because I, I had, because the house that we bought, um, moved into it, in-laws were in it, a week into the deal, it's January, it's in, it's in Virginia, it's cold. We get a phone call. Um, our heat exchanger doesn't work. Uh -oh. We had we had a servicer come out because we were going to have it serviced to make it work. They said it is no bueno. Uh, Got to replace the whole unit. Yeah. So you know that was you know luckily uh, whatever they have they had a great twenty four month you know zero financing deal on it. You know. Yeah. Site. Sign your name on it and and uh, and put it in and and know that you don't have to deal with that for for some years. But exactly. that was a question for him. Yeah, for it would, you. Be, it would be capex in that example. Yep. And then, if you don't mind, a uh, just a comment about your interview with Brian. Sure. Yes. Yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah. The the three that you did with Brian um, mm -hmm. followed him. Really like his positivity, but the. The um, the comment that he made uh, being broke is a behavior, not an income problem. Yeah, yeah. hit hit home. Um, the previous career that I had was a good career. I mean, six figures for the vast majority of the of the time that I was in there. Made good money. Um, great company to work for, but I lived to my income. Yeah, income income went up. Spending. living, living style went up, spending went up. And, and, you know, after, after I left with the exception of what money I took with me in my 401k, you know, I had no assets. It'd gone through a divorce in the middle of it. And, you know, that tends to yeah, that hurts. shake some things up. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, had no assets to it, you know, two years into, you know, self-employment, you know, what we choose to spend our money on, you know, that choice. Amen makes a complete difference on what you're able to do the rest of our lives. Totally and agree. so, you know, super grateful for a wife that, that puts up with my hours on YouTube watching <laughs> you and, and, you know, comes up, I got earbuds in and she starts talking to me, hang on, Michael's live. <laughs> um, well, thank but, her for, you me. know, well. yeah, I will. I'll, I'll pass the thanks on, but, you know, it's just super grateful for her that she sees that, you know, at the end of the day, it's all stuff, it's you all know, stuff, yeah. and I, you know, I, I went in my previous, previous life, bought a navigator, brand new navigator off the lot. Yeah. At the end of the day, it was just stuff. It didn't, you know, it was, it was that whole thing, you know, buying stuff to impress people you don't know. Yeah. That you don't like. Yeah, exactly. Buy stuff that you that, don't like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've been there. I, I so, yeah, I've been there. Very so, cool. Well, thank you, Jerry. This but, has been a lot of fun. Thank you for giving me a, a little bit over an hour of your time. I, I appreciate you, man. Thank you, Michael. I enjoyed it. Thanks. Talk to you later. Yep. Bye.